Hello everyone, I'm Tammy and welcome to my craft room here at Creative Girl Vintage. This past week on my Facebook page, each day I posted a photo of an altered vintage doll or a vintage doll assemblage that I had made. And when I posted this, The vote was unanimous. You guys said, I would love to see you put that together. So, I mean, Shirley even said, yes, please do a video so we don't go into withdrawal. Okay, so this is for you guys. This is this is one I put together. We're going to put together another one using little vintage bits and bobs. And um, I hope you will enjoy it. So let's make a little vintage assemblage. Okay, as always, the crafting supplies I'm going to be using today, I will link in the description box below this video. Um, when you go below the video and you see the word more, just click that and everything that I have added for you will show up right there. Okay, so I'm going to start out by using a vintage greeting card. You can see this one, you know, it's seen better days. We're going to use a piece of card stock. You can pretty much use any color that you have. And I'm going to be using this fillable, acrylic fillable ornament. And this isn't the one that's the big ball. This is more, you can see, it's like more, it's narrow. But um, we're just going to use one side of it. So you have another one for another project. So we will set that one aside. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my greeting card. I'm going to use this for my background. And um, it really doesn't show a lot, as you can see in this one I just did. But there, it is back there, and it adds just another layer of color. And I like to keep it kind of vintage anyway. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take my greeting card, and I'm just going to kind of cut this piece out that we're going to use. And I have plenty more here for another project. Nothing goes to waste. Grab a little stick glue and protect my work surface. And let me just glue up the back of this. So I'm just gonna basically, we're gonna stick this onto our little scrap of cardstock. So this is just going to make for a stronger little background. Okay, and then let's put this back on here like so. I'm going to take a pencil and just go ahead and trace around this. Gives us, gives us a little guideline for we want to keep our stuff inside our little line here so we know where we're at taking my scissors. Let me just trim around this. I'm not going to trim right on the line. I'm going to trim just like a little tiny quarter of an inch away from it. Makes it easier in the long run. Plus it gives us like a little area to glue on a uh, uh, finishing trim too. So this is pretty simple just to get this ready for a little backing. for our ornament. So you can see how that's gonna fit right on there and it's gonna lay right on its little line. Okay, so we have a good little guideline there. So let's pull out some good stuff. Okay, now I found this little vintage piece of lace, which is I, I think is just beautiful. I'm gonna lay that maybe right there. And, um, oh, look at this velvet vintage flower, you guys. I know this is off an old, old hat. Um, Alex said, you know, those things are really hard to find and anymore. And I, and I have to agree with her on that one. I used to find these all the time, like on the table at the flea market, old hats that were kind of in bad shape, but you can pull the flowers off or even just where they pulled the flowers off and they were just selling them like that. Not so much anymore. I just really haven't seen much of that going on. Um, this actually was an old screw back earring. Isn't that pretty though? I just loved it. It's like all tiny little sparkly beads. Let's lay that right there. And let's see. Oh yeah. Had another piece of vintage jewelry here. I think that came off a clip back earring, 
You can just pop that in there. And um, on the uh, on the ornament that was on the Facebook post, I used a little vintage ballerina, which I would probably lay her just right here. But I thought I'd change this one up a little bit. And by the way, on these ballerinas, you can find these on eBay. These are the really old ones, and then these are the newer ones. Actually, the newer ones, they, they're really a little they're prettier actually um i pulled one out here because i just want to show you this is one of the old ones can you see that face i mean oh seriously that's just uh, i don't know so anyway you know you can decide you know which way which way you want to go but like even though she's an old one i think she she looks pretty good so you know but you do get you do get a few of these in the bunch it seems like but yeah those are easy to find so if you're looking for those eBay is, is where I usually find them. Okay, so what I'm going to use is, let's see, I'm going to go with him. Look at this tiny little vintage lamb. Isn't he precious? I know I used him on a project. It was a little tiny paper mache box. I did a video uh, many, many videos ago. I have 104. This will be a video 105. So if you guys are new to my channel, um, I hope you'll catch up because there's some really cute ones out there. Okay, so look at, is is he not the sweetest? Okay, I don't have many of these left. Um, it was a flea market find. Several of these I got one day. And um, I'm really kind of down to maybe two or three left. And been savoring them through the years. Um, I'm going to get out a piece. This is another piece from a, a greeting card. And slide this aside here and you don't have to um, get out your distress ink when you have this old paper to use so this is good paper to keep on hand I just have a little rubber stamp here that says vintage and let me just do a nice little stamp okay and then I would just cut that out I have one right here that I had made so I'll just go ahead and use that one so it doesn't go to waste right on that old paper so i thought about laying that maybe right there you know you can take your little dome and just kind of see where you're at with all of your little goodies how about a button maybe perfect right okay so what we're going to do next is we're just going to glue all this together you know, I've did projects before. Um, I was I, like I was telling you guys, I have a lot of videos out there. This was one I did around Christmas time, where um, you know, took a picture of my house and put it into a little dome, basically doing exactly the same process that I'm doing here today. This has always been one of my favorite little projects, and this makes an incredible gift for someone. So, okay, so we look, did a little dry run. We kind of know where all of our stuff is going. I'm going to use my Fabrifix glue, and what I'm going to do here is go around, go around my pencil line. Okay, just a nice little bead of this around the pencil line. I'm not going to use a hot glue here because if you start out with your hot glue, by the time you get it all the way around, it, this is going to be um, already set. So it's not really a good hot glue project okay so I'm gonna take my stuff and layer it up in here we got that we've got our beautiful little flower I'm gonna try to stay inside the lines and we have a pretty little earring another little earring and I'm happy to use the hot glue for all of this it's just quick and easy have our little vintage lamb which is the star of the show here and I like the way the um the flowers and the back of that card just kind of peek out you know it just gives you a little something there let me see let me put this in the little vintage banner and, you know, I could have put this glue around the, the base of this second. You know, either way, it, it doesn't really matter. It you, The, the Fabrifix glue will give you time. You know, it's not like the hot glue. All right, did I have room for this button? You know what? The way I put everything in here, I kind of didn't. So let's just put, let's put our little dome on, lining it up right with that pencil line. Okay. And yep, 
fits on there nice. Everything was kind of low profile in there. So you know what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give this a couple minutes and let it dry. All right, for our finishing touches, I've got, this is just a little, kind of like a little thick crochet yarn maybe. And I am going to pop it right through this little hole that is at the top of these ornaments. Get through there, you. There we go. Okay. And we're going to make a little hanger out of this. Okay. I'll tie it off here so, so it'll easily be able to be hung up. Okay. All right, right here I've got some... Look at this pretty vintage trim. We are going to trim this out. And now I'm going to use my glue gun for this. What I am going to do is I am going to be very careful about what I'm doing. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you get glue strings on this acrylic, they are really hard to get off. Trust me. They get across here and you try to rub them off and it doesn't work. So everything I do, I just kind of pull away from the actual ornament. Okay. I kind of stuck that to my paper there, didn't I? All right. I got it on there. So at least, at least we're starting off, starting off good. So I'm going to do a bead of glue and I'm taking my glue and I'm carefully getting it the heck out of the way all right trying to be very very mindful that's why this might take you a little bit longer but it's really worth it just kind of being mindful as you go around you could use your fabric fix glue on here if you want a little bit of if you want to just wait a little bit for it to dry sometimes too that that glue will string across so I think no matter what you're using the key to it is just be mindful all right let's just give it a snip right there okay we're gonna finish it out very very carefully okay Let's see if I manage to. Nope, all clear. Okay, I've got a little uh, vintage lace bow. I thought I would put it right there just to kind of cover that knot up. Let me kind of glue this off screen here so all of my strings stay off, sc off screen as well. Oh, no, here we go. there. Um, I meant, uh, sometimes when, when I'm doing things on camera, I forget what I, some of the things I wanted to do, but I have this little scrap of fabric here. And what I did was I just cut out one of these little roses and I actually meant to put it on this earring inside. So I think this is so sweet and I wanted to use it. And I was like, well, I got a spot right here. We will put it right in the center of this bow. Okay. There we go. Isn't that the sweetest little assemblage? Now this one and this one, I am going to pop in my Etsy shop. I only have these two. Maybe someone would like to give them a good home. So there you go. There's some little vintage assemblages for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Thank you for requesting it. And um, like I said, all the links to everything you need are below. And I'm wishing you a day full of blessings and all the good things. I will see you guys soon.